Welcome back to my road to completion guide for Resident Evil 2 Remake. This is episode four. Grab the hand grenade and needle cartridges from the lounge. Keep running to avoid the enemies. Grab the large gunpowder and combat knife from the kitchen. Switch to the knife to protect against an ambush as we leave the kitchen. This enemy has body armor, so you'll need to aim for the head. We no longer need combat knives, so leave or discard any that you have from your inventory. Grab the electronic chip and combine it with the wristband. Then grab the flame rounds and high voltage condenser. Go back to Sherry's room and get the flame rounds off the desk. Is urgently requested by Chief Cartwright in the east area. Follow me to pick up more ink ribbons and gunpowder. Open up the item box and make the following adjustments to your inventory. Store the needle cartridges high voltage condenser, all gunpowder, and two ink ribbons, and then take out the GM-79. Save your progress and make sure your time is less than one hour and 45 minutes. Keep running to avoid the enemies in the hallway and make sure to grab the white high grade gunpowder as well as the flash grenade. Key in 3123 and 2067 to complete the sequence. Grab the dispersal cartridge, then follow me to the lab. Dispensing. Follow the button sequence I've placed on screen to get the dispersal cartridge solution. Manual mode engaged. Adjust amount of solution to match cartridge capacity.
Grab the grenade and large gunpowder, then follow me to the ladder outside. If you encounter an enemy along the way, just shoot it with the flame round. I didn't encounter the enemy, so I wasted a flame round at the bottom of the ladder to offset my inventory. Grab and use the flame rounds to kill the enemies in the area. Throw a flash grenade in the corner to distract the liquor long enough to slip behind it. Use flame rounds and high powered ammo to deal with the enemies in the stairwell. Grab the white high grade gunpowder and combine it with the large gunpowder to make acid rounds. Read the file on the chair called Somebody's Notes. Grab the signal modulator and handgun ammo. Place acid rounds and white high grade gunpowder into the item box and take out one ink ribbon. Save your progress and make sure your time is less than one hour and 50 minutes. Walk in the next area to avoid the liquors and use the signal modulator to turn on the power. Walk in the room on the left so we can get more gunpowder and the herbicide dispersal cartridge. Welcome back, Dr. Lee. You have five new messages. Damn, I should have packed my parka. Cooley, 
Training complete. Backtrack past the liquors to get more white high grade gunpowder so we can make acid rounds. Pick up the flame rounds and store the acid rounds in the item box. Also pick up an ink ribbon so we can save again. Make sure your time is less than one hour and 55 minutes. Sneak past the liquors and grab the large gunpowder before climbing the ladder. The goal is to place the herbicide cartridge in the machine back at the lab, but you may encounter a few enemies along the way. If you do, take them out with flame rounds. Only kill enemies that get in your way, skip the rest. So much for the weed infestation. Pick up the red and blue herb outside and mix them together. After that, grab the chip and combine it with the wristband. Without authorization, your actions have been locked and you may be subject to disciplinary measures. Escape the area and use flame rounds, grenades, and flash grenades to get rid of any enemies that stand in your way. Grab the hand grenade in the hallway. Use the signal modulator to restore power. Grab the blue herb on the way out of the office.
Thank God. The antiviral agent. Gotta get back to Sherry. Make more acid rounds using the white high-grade gunpowder and large gunpowder. Mix the red herb with the blue one, then grab the large gunpowder before opening the item box. Empty your inventory and take out all your gunpowder to make more acid rounds. Make sure to mix large gunpowder with white high-grade gunpowder first to get the most acid rounds possible. Pull out all your herbs and make as many GBR mixtures as possible. Now take out the spark shot, needle cartridge, and high voltage condenser. Combine the condenser with the spark shot, then load the spark shot to free up space. Now grab the following items from the storage box. Just leave one empty slot for the ink ribbon sitting on the desk behind us so we can make a save. Get the acid rounds, GM79, your GBR mixtures, and the ID wristband. Grab the ink ribbon, save your progress, and make sure your time is less than two hours, five minutes. Now go back into the item box and grab one more GBR mixture if you have one. Then switch to the grenade launcher and follow me to the next boss. This boss is simple with acid rounds. All we have to do is wait for the boss to take one step forward and counter with the grenade launcher. If done correctly, the boss will stun and we can force this loot for the rest of the fight. If you get hit, use your GBR mixtures to heal, but I would keep at least two for the next fight. There's also a first aid spray sitting on the table around the perimeter of the area and I'll point this out after the fight.
Search the area for a hand grenade, needle cartridges, and a flash grenade before going back to see Sherry. Ending. Gotta get back to Sherry. Combine the upgrade chip into the wristband so we can take the elevator to the lower level. Sherry, can you walk faster? I don't want to rush you, but we have to go. Let's get the hell out of here. until I get you out of this place. Grab the ink ribbon, save your progress, and make sure your time is less than two hours, 10 minutes. Follow me to the final boss. We'll have roughly 10 minutes to find and kill the boss to complete Claire's campaign. There's one scripted event with Sherry, but since we have the spark shot, we can easily clear out all the enemies.
worth a try. Grab the joint plug on the train and place it in the control room to trigger the boss fight. Grab the minigun on the way out, because this will be our primary source of damage against the boss. You just die? This fight is easy as long as you keep rotating around the train. Your best chance of dealing damage is to use the corners of the train to maintain advantage play. If the boss becomes aggressive, simply run around the corner of the train to stay safe. When the boss climbs the walls, run in one direction to avoid getting hit when he jumps. defeat the boss to pop four trophies. If you can defeat the boss with four plus minutes on the clock, you'll get an additional trophy, but it's not necessary since we'll have to run Claire's campaign again to get the platinum trophy.
Completing the game in under 2 hours and 30 minutes gives us access to a bonus weapon called the LE5, which has infinite ammo. We can use this gun to our advantage to complete Leon's B campaign on hardcore difficulty. Before we push into Leon's campaign, check your records to ensure you completed everything in Claire's A campaign. Lore Explorer should be 13 of 58. Complete Vermin Extermination should be 5 of 15. Master of Unlocking should be 5 of 8. If you're missing anything, let me know. We can work out a plan to pick it up in the next two playthroughs. Delete your autosave and slot save data so we can start fresh with Leon's campaign. Just make sure not to delete your system save data in the process. My name is Exonovan and I'll see you in episode 5. Be good. Thank you.